Hello everybody, I have a couple projects I'd like to share with y'all today. Um, these are some Halloween um, little pillow boxes and a Halloween tag that I created. Um, the tag was created using the, um, I think it was the uh, Ghosts and Goblins mat stack by DCWV. If it's not that one, it's the um, the Bewitched mat stack by DCWV. It's one of the two. I've forgotten which one it is. But it has like a, a spider web background in it. And um, it looks like this right here. I uh, first started off using some medium weight chipboard in the background. And then I adhered the sign paper over the top of that. And then I put um, some gauze up here around the spider right in this area. And just this spider is just one of the Michael spiders that you can get, the rings. And I just cut the back of that off. And then over here on this side, that is just some glue from my hot glue gun. And then I took some alcohol inks and just dropped it on the top. And it ran down and it kind of looks like blood like that. And um, and then right here, this um, little banner, it says Happy Halloween. It came from um, this stamp set by Inka Dinka Do. And I use this one right here. And I embossed that with some um, pewter embossing powder. So it's kind of a silver color if the light hits it just right. And then um, on down here, this little picture right here, I picked that up at Michael's too, and it's the um, lenticular uh, stickers, and I've used all of them, but this one right here, and I think four of them come into a pack, and that's where I got this from. And then the hand right here, I got that from Michael's as well. Um, it comes just in like a pack of them and I put some uh, black distressed ink on that and then I used my um, red alcohol inks and you know put the blood and all this right here is just a button with the back that I you know tore, took that off of that and then I put a um, stick pen over here and then right here is just some lace I put to look kind of like a cuff of the you know the hand and then some moss right here to look like it's kind of coming out of the grave and then over here in this corner is a flower um, from Tim Holtz I believe it's the uh, one of the rosette flower dyes and then I just put some uh, red stickles around the outside of the tag and a little bit on the, the stamp right here and then the back of it, I just finished it off with um, just some more of the design paper. And the top up here is just some red and black tulle. And then I just tied a little um, black bow with some jute cord that I have. And so that's my tag. And then this right here are some... Um, pillow boxes that I used the same paper collection. I think the paper collection I used on it was the um, Ghost and Goblins uh, by DCWV. It's an old uh, paper stack. I think I got it last year. and um, But it's still, it's, I still like it. So I used that um, to make these with. I'll just take one out and show you. It looks like this right here. And I just tied, uh, well, I just run some black satin ribbon around the back of it and adhere the two pieces up under here together. And then this punch right here is from this one right here, I guess from EK Success. I'm not sure. I think EK Success makes that. And um, that's the punch right here. And then I just took some stickles um, in silver and run around the edge of it. And then I uh, um, stamped Happy Halloween, and that comes from a Martha Stewart stamp set that I have. 
that looks like this right here and this is the one I used up here on the top and then I, I just used some um, Momano ink, the tuxedo black and stamped that and then I took my glimmer mist and sprayed um, this orange color, I think it's peach delight I think is the color of the orange on here and then I also just took some black distress ink and just kind of went around that and so I made, um, I think I did five of these. I thought they turned out real cute. But I'm going to sell these on my Etsy store. So if anybody's interested in um, purchasing some of those, just check my store out. I'll put the link in the description bar below. But I thought they would be real cute to um, put some candy in. I don't think it'll hold, you know, but maybe three or four pieces of candy. So. Um, and that's usually about how much I give out anyway at Halloween and so um, if I don't sell them I can use them myself because we're supposed to be going to the beach for Halloween they're going to have a big thing down there but um, anyway I hope you like my projects if you have any questions just let me know and I hope y'all have a good day talk with y'all later bye bye